It's possible to save settings for the sun path and then assign them to a particular view. So for example, I could set up a view so that I was looking at 3 p.m. on January the 21st at a top view of my site. In this example, we'll create the uh, sun path for 3 p.m. on June the 21st. The idea being that you might have a scenario where maybe you want to plan for outdoor activities in the summer and it's important that you know where the shade is. The next step to this would be actually saving an image of that site. So you're actually visualizing the context of your site for a particular uh, time of day, time of year, and using that to help explain to clients or other people in the design team the, the, the process that led to a particular decision. Okay, if you've opened the file called Sun Study 2, uh, you'll see that there are multiple 3D views in here, where what I'm doing is looking uh, in, a, in a top view for particular times of the, the day, a particular time of the year. So how, how did I go about creating this? Let me just switch to the 3D view. And um, I'll show you the option is that I can turn on and off the shadows, which I've shown before. And then under the sun path settings, in addition to those two choices, sun path displayed on or off, sun settings will take you to a dialog box where you can create um, settings, presets for the time of day, time of year. So if down here I want to create something, let me remove there's the finished result. Let me delete it. And what I'm going to do is pick the June 21st, 9 a.m. and say duplicate. And change that to June 21st, 3 p.m. So that's me creating the name. Having created the name, I want to change the actual settings. So here I'm going to change this to 3 p.m. Um, if the checkbox is on ground level, level one, that means that the shadows would be falling on the level one plane. If you uncheck it and there's topography in there, it means it will be falling on the topography. So you want to have that unchecked in order that you can see the, the shadow fall on the topography and not on the horizontal plane. Uh, here you've got the, the date, uh, which was copied from the pre-existing setting. And here you've got the longitude and latitude because it knows where St. Louis, Missouri is because you gave it the location of the, the project. So the other thing that I do on here is I'm going to take that uh, 3D view and I'll, I'll rename it and I'll call it 1500 hours June 21st. So now for this particular view, the one that I'm looking at, my setting is those presets. Okay, if I turn on the shadow, I can see it. If I flip to the top view, just turn it around like that, then that's what I'm getting at three o'clock. And I can compare that with my so three o'clock in January, where the sun's a lot lower. I can look at my winter solstice ones for any that I've saved. So if I looked at uh, January 21st at nine o'clock in the morning, at 12 o'clock, and at three o'clock, looking at the positions there. So we can go a bit further with this because we can actually animate it. 